going to take a couple minutes to talk about this topic. I've discussed this with many of my students with kids. And this isn't information that's my opinion or from my brain. This, are, this is information that I've studied and memorized, and it's from lived experiences of students that I've worked with. So people often want to, ask, want to know, why is my kid better at English than I am? You know, we moved here when my kid was four, now they're 11. How come their English is completely fluent? How come they autocorrect me whenever I mispronounce things? So there's a couple of reasons for that. First, we have to understand what sensitive windows are. So in terms of development, uh, psychological development, physiological development, um, there are a few sensitive windows that we are subject to that after they close, we will have a more difficult time at something. So have you ever heard of Jeannie, the case of Jeannie? She was a little girl that was unfortunately um, endured a lot of abuse by the hands of her parents and linguists worked with her after she was rescued to try and get her to speak English but because the sensitive window had closed also because of years of horrific abuse so we can't say which is the actual cause but probably because the sensitive window closed Jeannie was never able to actually get a uh, internal grammar or structure of English in her head to make novel sentences. This is also the case when we talk about, you know, making novel sentences. Um, it's different than using, say, signs or pointing to pictures. So there might be apes that are able to point to pictures or use sign language, but they're not creating new thoughts in a novel way using a finite amount of words and that is what makes someone fluent in a language or that is what a grammar of language is. Um, it's taking a finite amount of words and being able to arrange them in an infinite amount of ways to express an infinite amount of ideas. So getting back to kids being better than their parents, it's because of this sensitive window that kids are able to just acquire language. It's not called language learning. When kids are young it's called acquisition and that is just, it just they just pick it up just by being exposed to it. So long as a child is exposed to a language and they're a typically developing child and they have the typical resources uh, of this day and age, they will develop that language or two languages. So the reason why someone might have a strong accent while their kid is perfect at English, it could be because your sensitive window has closed before you had enough, enough exposure to English grammar. Perhaps you studied English as a child, but you might not have been exposed to enough English grammar and English sentences and English conversation in order to internalize that grammar. So it's not the case that moving here or starting English or starting whatever language after the age of 11 or 12 will mean that you have an accent forever, but it's the case that because of these closing windows within our biology, we have parameters that are more or less flexible and these parameters sometimes are only so flexible for an individual and that is based on individual differences. It's also based on environmental exposure of the person growing up. So, can people completely get rid of their foreign accents? I don't like to say that and I don't like to talk about accent reduction, but yes, people can completely transition their accents to sound native-like so long as they have been exposed to enough of the language during the sensitive period and also if they work hard enough as an adult. Can you learn a language as an adult and not have an accent? Yes, if that's something you're good at. Can you go to the gym and get a six pack? Yes, if that's something you're good at. Are you the type of person to get a six pack? No, if you're not that type of person who's that driven and that motivated to accomplish your dreams, are you going to ever clear your foreign accent? Probably not. Is it okay to speak with a foreign accent? Absolutely, accents are awesome. People who don't like accents are racist POSs. People who don't like accents are xenophobic POSs. So if anyone has a problem with people's accents, they need to talk to me because not only is my job to help people accept their own accents, <laughs> it's not necessarily about changing your accent. It's about accepting your accent and doing the best that you can with those resources that you have. Considering your environment, considering your upbringing, considering your parameters, considering your sensitive windows. So. Have I made my point? I'm not really sure, but uh, if you have any questions about this, mm -hmm. language acquisition, I have a degree in speech science, which is a combination of linguistics and psychology. So I know how children develop language in a typical way. Um, so ask me any questions you have about that. Also, this stuff is all out there on the internet. I'm not 
providing my own opinions. I'm merely just regurgitating memorized facts that I've taken on during my studies. 